the very first time I heard from them, I was very upset that anybody would <laughs> report me for anything. But I know who it was, and they had a vendetta against me. So, well, when DCF, you know, because I'd been contacted by DCF several times, and uh, it was screened out the first few times, my guard was more down, trusting that they, you know, knew what they were doing and that they were doing things correctly. So initially, you know, when things started to get serious, I didn't recognize it right away because I thought that they knew what they were doing and were doing their job and would see that I obviously am not abusive. But when I got the report back for the first time and the uh, allegations had been supported against me and they were fabricating evidence against me, that's when I started to panic. That's when I, that's when I contacted Attorney Seaver because I realized that things could escalate and get worse. If they're making up stuff in the report and I just didn't, at that point, I didn't know what could happen. Um, I realized that I was at a disadvantage because as the accused parent, you don't have the credibility that a social worker has in front of the judge. So who are they going to believe? We could have been on a path to having our kids taken from us and we didn't even know it. So we just want to prevent the, that even from possibly happening. If they're lying about stuff in the report, we thought, well, maybe that's their intention to find an excuse to take the kids out of our home. We didn't call any other attorney other than Attorney Seaver because we were very impressed with what we saw online. And uh, we called on a Friday and I got a response right away. I, you know, I didn't even have to wait for a call back. Well, before we hired attorney Seaver, I was very, I had a lot of anxiety when I realized that uh, we were in a dangerous situation. Like I said, we didn't know we were in a dangerous situation at first. And when it, when I figured it out, I was like, oh my God, this is, this can be, this could be very, very bad. And if we're in over our heads, we're in over our heads, we don't really know what we're doing. And um, if we go this alone and try to figure this out alone, then we could end up losing the kids. I, that, the thought of that scared the crap out of me. I just knew that we needed someone on our side to help get us through this. Someone that the judge would take seriously, that is experienced with dealing with DCF. And once um, we hired attorney Seaver, I felt much better because he had a plan. He knew what he was doing and I followed everything he said to do. I, I didn't have to try to like guess at what I was supposed to be doing and hope for the best. I was told what to do. And as long as I followed the plan of action, it was going to be okay. Yeah, I'd have to say the best thing that I've learned from attorney Seaver in this horrible experience that we went through is how to document and um, how to, you know, gather everything that supports you everything that's positive when it comes to DCF and make sure it's documented and and follow up on things um, because DCF you cannot count on them to do their job correctly or you know you could get a very bad social worker like like we did um, I had a good social worker before her so it, if you have a good social worker at first your guard could be down like ours was you don't want to take the chance at all. So it's better to be safe than sorry. Attorney Seaver is the best in Massachusetts. So definitely go with him. You don't want to gamble with your children's future. You can think, oh, I can learn and, you know, go it alone. But you're already at a disadvantage because you're the accused parent. Personally, I think that even if a child is taken away for a day, that could leave trauma on them. That could leave security issues in you know, them need to go to counseling just over being taken for one day. I couldn't imagine. And as a parent, to be stripped of your rights of, you know, not allowed to raise your own children. I, I couldn't imagine it. To be separated from your children when you don't, you know, um, against your will for even a day or a week is devastating. You don't want to go there at all. It's bad. <laughs> it's bad. 
especially for your children and it's bad for you and the family. It destroys the family. You don't want your children going through that. If you lose your children and you try to get them back, then it's going to cost you a lot more financially trying to get them back. Um, I think the financial cost is, whether you have it or not, it, it's means it's not much compared to the cost, the mental health and the cost that your children are experiencing. Yeah, it, it's a struggle when you have to pay, but you're going to pay a lot more if you wait. It's better to get the financial piece out of the way and prevent them from being taken to begin with. It's an investment in your family and your future. You don't want your family to get hurt by, you know, making money an issue of it. I would go into debt for my children. On a scale of one to 10, I'd say off the charts, like 11, 12, 13, way above 10. Attorney Seaver exceeded my expectations and goals 100%. Um, just that he made himself available. Attorney Seaver made himself available around the clock, basically. He gave us his personal cell phone number so that we could call if we had any questions. Um, he was there for us every step of the way. So I would, Attorney Seaver is definitely the way to go if you're dealing with DCF. If you get a DCF call, the only lawyer I can think to call would be Attorney Seaver because he's the only lawyer in Massachusetts that specializes. I've looked. I have um, searched through, you know, all so many lawyers that are available, and they all do other stuff in addition to DCF law. You want when it comes to your children, you want someone laser focused on the mission at hand, and that's to keep your children in your home and get DCF out as soon as possible. The only one I would recommend that I would trust with that mission is Attorney Seaver.